Hi, welcome all. Myself, Krishna Sage. I work as simulation engineer at Decibels Lab. So, in this tutorial, we will discuss about like what is V model and how V model is used for automotive software development and what all phases or the stages involved in it. Okay, so let's move forward. So, in this side, we have represented a general format of your V type model for automotive software development. As we talk about the V model, it will start with requirement setup. So, here in this requirement setup, all the design related documents and testing related documents, like how the model has to be tested and what all scenarios has to be involved for the testing of your model and even the architecture modeling related documents it will be like having in it so once the requirement setup is done it will be passed to the design team by the system engineer so the next stage comes that is architecture modeling so based on the requirements given by the system engineer uh, we are going to build the architecture modeling uh, like which part of the equation has to be involved in which part of subsystem and tagging the requirements and tagging the properties for the model and also creating the interfaces for the subsystems. So once that is done, it will be passed to the design tip. So they are going to derive the logics, equations and the algorithm based on the given requirements. So based on that, they are going to build the model according to the logics and the algorithms given and then again it is passed to the implementation tip where they are going to do the code generation out of it so once the code generation is done it has to be tested before deploying it to the hardware so there comes like unit testing and the system level testing which has to be carried out so before deploying it to the hardware the software part has to be like verified and the validated on the system level. So there are some other procedures such as mill, sill, fill and hill has to be like carried out to verify and validate the software part of the automotive. So once that is done, you can go for deploying it to the real hardware. Okay. So this is uh, overview of your V cycle model, uh, like how it has to be like followed when we talk about like automotive software development okay so in the next part of the tutorial we will continue with uh, understanding more on the requirement setup thank you